Oh, Mike, what the fuck did I say about interrupting me when I'm on my phone? I was so shocked that the voice message actually worked in this game. And this bozo is in the middle of the pizzeria yelling at me while the... I'm, I'm about to kick your ass. I'm about to kick your ass, Mike. So help me God, I'm gonna commit a crime in that pizzeria. They're gonna have to, they're gonna have to distinguish you from freaking tomato sauce. They're not gonna know which what after I'm done with you, buddy. This is gonna be two whole hours. Well, let's get into it. Fears to fathom, episode five. Ooh, Woodbury getaway. December 8th. Needed coffee to get done with the day. Why was the the end not capitalized? What the heck? Bro, this reminds me of my job back when I was a full-time employee. Except my cubicle was better. I liked my cubicle more. But look at this old-ass computer. Freaking Windows... 96 or something, golly, bruh. Dark ass office space, bruh. Golly. As much as I wanted to leave, I need a cup of coffee. Yeah, okay, but where's the where's the cafe? Don't tell me you're getting coffee from a vending machine. That's disgusting. But you know what? It'd be like that sometimes, bruh. Okay, nice, nice little kitchen area. Nah, bro, who's over there, bro? We got rats? It sounds like rats. Or is someone typing? Bro, who's typing? Oh, they won't let me move forward. Someone is typing up a storm, bro. Yo, what's up, big bro? What do you want, Sid? I'm trying to get this done. My bad, I was just trying to see if you needed anything. Can't these clients ever make up their mind? That's what I'm saying, bro. What keeps you here so late again? I'm just finalizing the report. You know how it is, man. Type shit, type shit. This is really how it be, bro. Huh. Okay, how do I... Oh, what the... Yeah. I don't even know what that was. Just a random can. So, okay, we got the Keurig right here, bro. Damn. I need water. I need water. Sandy, I need water. Ooh, so I hit that off the corner. Put, put me put me in the league. Oh. Mmm. Coffee. Ugh. Ugh. Look at that. Look at that coffee. We got any creamer, any, any milk, any sugar, or we just drink it black? Y'all, y'all, y'all drink your coffee black? I need to put a lid on it. What are you, a baby? Come on, bro. We don't need no silly lid for our coffee. Damn. Sipping frame one didn't even wait for it to cool. I wonder if the homie wants some coffee. Black coffee is terrible, tons of cream and sugar. I am the creamer. <laughs> we ain't got no vanish command, bro. Uh, editor, zoom in on the, zoom in onto that comment for the YouTube video. Make sure everybody knows that he said that. Huh. I have to pee, bro. Finish your coffee first. Or who's breathing back there? Oh, am I done my coffee? Oh, I guess I am done. Okay, where, where's, the, where's the garbage? Okay, I'm, I'm about to I'm about to hit this right here. Uh, Ginobili. No. <laughs> Look at this, look at this. 360. Damn. Oh my god, am I just trash? No! What? No! What is happening? It's, it's a, it's, huh? There's a force field there. There's a force field. Okay, well, I'm gonna try a different garbage bin then. Huh. There we go, that took way too long. Um, where's the bathrooms? Huh. Um, I'm guessing they gotta be near here, right? Just plum plumbing reasons? There's the bathroom, see? We figured it out. 
hurts. Damn, that thing slapped the shit out of me. What the? Why do they got little seating areas in the washroom? Is, is, is there a shower in here? Is that why? Because if not, this is weird. Bro, what the heck kind of bathroom is this? They got sinks here, but they got sinks here too. And like just random shit here. Number one, number one rule of a horror game: always open all the stalls. I put the I had to put the toilet seat down, bro. Look at this, ugh. look at this dirty ass toilet. No way she's sitting on this. No, no, no. There has to be a cleaner one. What the frick? Should we drink the random bathroom soda? How do I open it? This is insane. This has to be drugged, right? Ain't no way we're just drinking a random bathroom soda. If we don't get kidnapped after this, this might be a miracle. You're done for, you're done for. I'm done with it, yeah. These toilets are all disgusting, bruh. There's no way she's gonna use these toilets. They're all so nasty looking. Oh my god, fuck it, bruh. It's your, it's your life. Like, go, go pee. Ma'am? I had to put the toilet seat. I did. You're just. With the. Oh my goodness, bruh. Okay, at least they freaking. Nah, this is crazy. She didn't even put like toilet paper on this seat or nothing. This is diabolical. <gasps> Someone's walking in. It's crazy, because wasn't there only our guy co worker here? Okay. So cool. person is on the right side so what we're gonna do is we're gonna juke left back step into a back kick oh my god you scared the shit out of me oh why was his face and whole body all black first why are you smiling at me like that i couldn't i couldn't even i couldn't even I couldn't even do anything. He foiled, he foiled my plan instantly. I was gonna go like, yeah. Whoa, ma'am, sorry. Didn't know anyone was in here. Bro, you saw me pissing hella loud. Don't lie to me. You, you almost gave me a heart attack. I'm so sorry. I should have knocked before I, uh, I came in, but there isn't usually anyone in here this late. <sighs> it is what it is, bro. You're just doing your job. I usually do knock, but I'm a little bit frustrated tonight. Must have slipped my mind. Okay, but why are we asking him why he's frustrated? Do we really care? Someone keeps throwing coffee cups on the floor all over the office. It's been happening for weeks. That's not me. Y'all saw me. Well, except for the soda can in the washroom. Yeah, but I threw mine in the garbage. There's video evidence of this. That's really rude. Well, I need to get back to, to it. Uh, Don't want to be here all night picking up coffee cups. Have a good night. <laughs> Bro, this guy's a demon. He walked through like four doors. Hey, mom, no show is fat. Me Pierce again. <laughs> Look at him. Look, oh my god. He's supernatural. Bro, teach me how to do that. Huh. I guess I should get back to my desk and get back to work again, too. You know what? I'll pick up the coffee cups. See, I threw this one, too. I feel bad. Look at that. Oh, good Samaritan, bro. You know, it don't it don't take much to be a little nicer. You know, it's a cold world, bro. If we all if we all do a little more, we can make the world a better place. Oh, someone's blowing up my line. Uh, go for Sydney Harper. Hey, Harp, it's Mike. Mike. I've been trying to call yourself for the last two hours. It just keeps going to voicemail my cell phone all right uh my battery dies oh, at the worst yeah, time you know how it is maybe you were ignoring me 
No what? I think Mike's gonna be the killer, bro. He's gonna be pissed off that I've been ignoring him. I'm just kidding. <laughs> um. Oh, I don't like. Are we actually friends, Mike? The way he's talking to me, I don't think we're friends, bro. I feel like maybe we're acquaintances, but this, this is weird as hell. Uh, anyway, uh, what are you still doing at work? It's getting kind of late. I was I was about to say, how does he know I'm at work? But he called my work phone, bro. I'm stupid as hell. What'd you miss? Literally nothing. We, ju we just started. I got up from my desk, I drank some coffee, and then I had to piss. <laughs> Uh, you know, just more overtime. I'm getting to the moolah, you know. Damn, Art, that sounds rough. Good thing I called to cheer you up. I, I know. I was actually, I was, I was going crazy, bro. I was, I was fucking up the spreadsheet to you actually interrupting me. You're fucking up my cash flow, honestly. Um, about our trip, did you get a chance to book the rental house? Just really wanted to see you. And Nora. See, that, that, mm, I don't like the way you said that. I really wanted to see you. And then he added the Nora part because he know he knew that sounded weird, bro. I didn't book nothing, bro. You seem a bit annoyed about me calling. Seriously, Harp, if this is a bad time. It is a bad time, bro. You're fucking up my cash flow. Uh, nah, Mike. Come on, I'll do it next time. That's the Sydney Harper I know. I'm sorry if I was being pushy. Nah, I just you know, it's just been crazy lately. You know, ever ever since I uh was 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 scared in the, in the bathroom while taking a piss. You know. Why life 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 be life be doing me dirty, but you know. No worries, Harper. We're hanging in there. To stress you out. As long as you book it tonight, I think it'll be fine. Yeah. Hey. Okay. Hey. Hi. I was thinking, since we both live in the city, maybe I could pick you up and ride together. Hell nice no. To catch up. I don't know you like that, Mike. You know, save on gas and relive the good old days. Just a little bit of Mike and Sydney time before Nora gets there. Oh, did we used to date him before? Are we are we like exes or something? Sure. Great. Uh, I guess I'll let you get back to work then. Yeah, okay. Oh, uh, wait, one more thing. Oh, bro, this guy talks so weird. Just say it. When you book the rental, please make sure to keep it under $100 a night. Why, are you broke? If you're broke, just say so, bro. That's why I'm working OT, bro. Maybe you should be working OT. If, 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 if you can't even do more than 100 a night. Nora and I were talking, and she's been on a pretty tight budget. Things haven't been going very well for her. So maybe, maybe Nora shouldn't go on the trip. Maybe you shouldn't be planning trips if you ain't got the finances for it. Bro, hanging up will be devious. That's just evil as hell. Sure, I'll find something affordable? It'll be just like the old college days. You always had a knack for finding the best spots. I don't I don't like this Mike guy, bro. The way he's talking just gives me the <laughs> niggas give me heebie jeebies. <laughs> yeah, let me do the booking, right, buddy. Right, of course. Sorry for yapping. Oh okay. he a yapper. Died, I guess. He really is a yapper. No sure meeting up with his ex right in front of me, bro. That they're an ex for a reason. It's all good. It's all good. You know nothing would ever happen. <laughs> Alright. Talk to you later, Harp. Man, shut up, Mike. Talking to me, bro. Wasting my time. <clears throat> um, I guess we got on the computer and booked the thing. Uh do, do I just look up Um House? Rent okay, it just types it for you, okay. Rentacabin.com. Google no show moment? Nah, it, it, it just types in uh, automatically. Whatever keys you're typing, it'll just auto fill in. 350 a night? Apparently, we're too broke for that. 249, we're too broke for that. 199, we're too broke for that. This for 99 is. This is a steal. Wi Fi, TV, kitchen, garden, parking space for 99 a night? Two reviews? What are the reviews? Can I see the reviews? It won't let me see the reviews. Yeah, it's, it's definitely too good to be true. What if I try to book the 350 one? It was over the budget? That's crazy. They're gonna force me to book this one. Can we at least look at the reviews? She's crazy for not looking at the reviews, bruh. We're not even gonna look at the reviews. 
It's just a fucking we ball kind of thing, huh? We, 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 bro, the review. Oh my god, bro. She just wants to die. It's like, it's like she's walking into a death trap. Uh, it's over. We've basically chosen our grave. Hey, I'm assuming you get hundreds, if not thousands, of stories sent daily. So I'll give you a basic rundown of something that happened to me. I'm sorry if some of it is written weird, but I was rushed. When I was in my early 20s, I worked at a big consulting firm in my city. Life at the firm was co a constant juggle of deadlines, client meetings, and trying to prove my worth. Which didn't leave much room for leisure, let alone a social life. The job paid well, sure, but at the expense of my mental, pe uh, my mental peace. I'm Sydney Harper, and this story takes place during one of those days. One of my college friends, Mike, suggested that we take a weekend getaway to rural Vermont, which sounded like a perfect break from the cycle of work. And my other friend, Nora, was quick to jump on board as well. The plan was simple. We rent a small cabin, close our shift early on Friday, leave, and be back on Monday. Mike came to pick me up. I don't trust Mike, bro. Two days later. I bet people sending their fake Reddit stories and then everyone clap. <laughs> Who is this guy? This is not Mike. Yo, we got a PSP. Yo. I don't know why he's smiling though. Escape to hang up? That's evil as hell. Wait, what kind of PSP? I forgot my suitcase in the elevator at first. Fuck. Um, that's correct. The key will be in a lockbox by the front door. The code is five one seven six. Call me. Blah blah blah. Okay. Uh, I'm heading that way. Pulling into the parking garage now. You downstairs yet? Oh, that's Mike probably. I wanna, I wanna talk to the PSP guy. No, what, what kind of games do you have in your PSP? Wait, wait for me. I wanna go with you. I wanna go with you. <laughs> no, come back, please. Oh, it's over. Huh. Art. Do we have to hug him? Ooh, awkward. This is so, why is he acting like this? Do we have some kind of beef? Cause this is not how friends act with each other. That's still how you hug people. What? This guy is dissing my hug? Oh, oh, I didn't know you were a hugging professional. My bad. I, I, didn't, I didn't know you were the world's best hugger. Why don't you hug me like you miss? Oh, what, the? what is bro talking about? Just a test hug to see if you smelled? Maybe he stank. Fair enough, but for the record, I shower just for this occasion. Nothing is too good for Sydney Harper. This guy is a weirdo. I don't like him. What do you mean you shower just for this occasion? I know you're probably joking. This mic guy gave me bad, bad vibes, bro. Hella bad vibes. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not, I'm not hugging, bro. You can just throw your stuff in the back and we'll get on your way. All right, let me, let me put my stuff in the back. What the fuck? Why is he moving like that? How is he? How is he doing that? All right then, Harp, are you ready? Uh, where's Nora? She'll meet us there. Classic serial killer freaking response, bro. He's gonna kill me before we get to the cabin, and then he's gonna tell Nora, oh my God, uh, Sydney had something to do. She said she'd meet us later. And then she'll probably kill Nora too. The route through the city would have been a detour for her anyway. All right then, Harp. This guy just gives me crazy bad vibes, bro. Can I sit in the back? I don't. I don't want to. I don't want to sit next to him, bro. Who knows what he's gonna try to pull? Oh my god! <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I don't like this. You know what? Maybe he's not the murderer. Maybe there's somebody else that pulls up, and maybe Mike will protect us and die for us. If Mike dies for us, W, he's a W character. Dirty ass truck. God damn. It was starting to snow. <laughs> Why did he look like that? 
Harp, isn't it weird? We used to dream about escaping our college and now here we are. Okay. Trying to escape from the life we wanted to live. We couldn't wait to get out into the real world. Funny how that works. I could just bro. Change is just hard, like trying to adjust to the new job. Um, speaking of jobs, how's it going so far? We're working on this project that uses machine learning to predict market trends. It's pretty cutting edge stuff. Wow. I remember when I messed around with machine learning stuff. Uh, sounds like you're shaping the future. Not quite Tony Stark yet, but I'll take it. Yeah, bro. He works for BlackRock, bro. <laughs> Uh, one new text from Rick, Rick Wilson. You know, I never understood what do consultants even do. Oh, uh, we uh, explain. That sounds like important work. I feel like he's acting shady. Why do Why do we Why Why, why do we randomly look at that school bus? What was that for? Did you see that? Did you see that school bus? See what? A school bus back by that old house. Maybe it's a project. Uh, fake dialogue. No one making a Tony Stark reference before the MCU, especially in the PSP era. <laughs> oh, goodness. I didn't get the notification. I'm ending it all. What's up, Noel? How's it going? How's your day? Been hope you're having any good. Uh, Friday. Can start your weekend, man. You know what? Oh, shit. Bro, keep your damn eyes on the road, bro. We almost died. It came out of nowhere. He's just, he's gonna go back to the other dialogue like it's nothing? Nah, I don't trust this mic guy. This mic guy is crazy. You know, I read on the internet that in Native American lore, seeing a deer cross your path is like getting a message from the universe. I swear to God, if he's trying to segue into, we should be together, Harper. I love you. <laughs> I should probably check the text message, right? Uh, it's nearly 5 p.m. and I haven't received a confirmation text for you. I just wanted to check in and make sure everything's okay. The roads... Oh, bro, shut the... F Mike! Bro, this guy Mike is selling, bro. I'm trying to confirm the freaking cabin. And I couldn't even do it because you're fucking up my text messages, Mike. Bro, what the... F oh, my God. How far is it now? Should be about an hour and a half from here. God dang, it's the longest road trip. You know... Driving through the snow kind of feels like we're traveling through the intergalactic space. What do you mean? Look at all the look at all look. I'm struggling to read. Look at the way the snowflakes swirl around the headlights. Uh, if I could turn my head, I would. If I could turn my head, I would. It's like stars and galaxies rushing past us. Uh, we're on our way. Should be there on 6 p.m. The snow's oh, oh my, bro! If this guy Mike interrupts my text message one more time, I'm gonna punch him in the temple, bro. Stop interrupting me while I'm trying to confirm our lodging for the weekend, bro. You're fucking up our bag, bro. I'm about, I'm about to lose it. I'm really about to lose it, bro. I don't care how beautiful the stupid snow is swirling in front of the headlights. Freaking, this is why we almost crashed into a deer, bro. Maybe you should focus on driving. He's just yapping about some stupid shit that I don't care about. So, uh, so help me God if I... And I I'll, I'll never know what the, the cabin owner said now. I'll never know, because this bozo wanted to talk about snows and galaxies. And Tony Stark. Huh. Bro, what the heck is this neighborhood? Yo, Harp, check that out. I couldn't even check it out. Moe's Pizza. Why are you... This guy almost hit that other car. This guy sucks at driving. God damn, turn off the high beams. You know, Harp, I gotta tell you, these new GPS systems are something else. This pizzeria is exactly where it appeared on my GPS. Wow. This guy, what a simpleton. Getting getting excited over a GPS, bro. Man, what do you mean? First of all, if we're talking about freaking machine learning, where's your phone, bro? Ain't no way you have a GPS unless it's like one of those um built-in like screen things on the on the car. But I don't think that's what he's talking about. 
It's like living in the future. I'm so hungry, I think I could eat a whole pizza myself. Yeah, you, you, you go do that, buddy. All right then, Harp. Operation Pizza Pit Stop is a go. Prepare to land. Get me out the car, bro. Finally, I can freaking look at my text messages. Uh, should be there around six. Snow slowed us down. Okay, please confirm when you check in and travel safe. All right. Uh. Here's the thing, guys. I want to change my dinner. Like, I'm eating ramen noodles for every meal. My dinner is really neat. Oh! <laughs> Mike, what the fuck did I say about interrupting me when I'm on my phone? I was so shocked that the voice message actually worked in this game. And this bozo is in the middle of the pizzeria yelling at me while the... I'm, I'm about to kick your ass. I'm about to kick your ass, Mike. So help me God, I'm going to commit a crime in that pizzeria. They're going to have to they're gonna have to distinguish you from freaking tomato sauce. They're not going to know which to what after I'm done with you, buddy. Huh. $100. Is that Lily Pichu? Is that Lily Pichu? Good night. I think I can still make it work. I don't know. Let me know if that's okay with you. That's Lily Pichu. That's okay with you. I hope I get to see you both soon. Okay, that's, okay you. that's Lily Pichu. What the heck? What the heck? Huh. All right, let's go to the pizzeria, bro. Listen here, listen here, fucker. I didn't need you to open the door for me or hold the door for me. I was on my phone. I was doing important stuff. All you had to do was get in there and order the pizza. Freaking, I'm not saying thank you. Get out of my way. Freaking bozo. Just in. Reports of a strong snowstorm coming towards Woodbury tonight. Residents are recommended to stay indoors and keep warm during this time. Shouldn't we Let's go check home? In with our field reporter. How's the weather out there, Phil? Uh, it's so cold out here. I, I can't feel my hands. Okay? Like, uh, studio should have really brought some snow gear instead of buying that new coffee machine. <laughs> I'm sure you'll be fine. You can have some coffee when you. It, I, I think it is Kesa. You cannot be serious. How many no people did they get in this game? Caffeine. Sounds like someone's having a bad day. Maybe you should <laughs> cool off. <laughs> shit. Why can't you go out here and deal with this? Oh, of me? I've been working here for six years and I never get to report. They're beefing night. live on TV. I'm just clearly the better looking one. You can worry about where you'll report once you get that rhinoplasty. Oh, why would I need rhinoplasty? My face looks perfectly fine. You could also use some Botox while you're at it. Actually, maybe you should just work as a studio light engineer behind the camera. Damn. I think it'd be better field of work for you. Oh, why is he cooking it? Your job because your sister works at the mixing board. You would have never been able to work here if it wasn't for her. I'd like to see you work. Oh, the this is company. live on TV. I'm a certified news anchor. I'm certified? Yeah, my ass. Okay, you didn't do shit. How about I come by the studio and we settle this like men? Oh yeah. Oh. Let's do it, punk. They about to we'll scrap? Right back after this commercial break. Nah, that happened live on TV. What the hell? Is that my office? Huh. I'm dodging my. Wait, was that actually Dante? Was that his voice? I couldn't tell. That's Dante. Wow, I didn't know. Bro, what are you? What is this guy doing here? Are you good? What? You beefing with the door, old man? What kind of beef does he have with his door? Huh. Look at this Mike guy, bro. He's not even ordering, bro. This this guy fell in love with the pizza man, bro. Look, look how they're staring at each other's eyes. With the with the romantic music playing. What the? I didn't touch the mouse. Nah, I didn't touch the mouse, bro. This guy is a freaking Jedi, bro. He used the force to pull me into ordering. I didn't touch my mouse. What the fuck just happened? Evening, folks. <laughs> Evening, folks. Looks like the colds got everyone craving pizza tonight. Not me, bro. I was forced to come here. You fine folks know what you want to eat. We'll get three slices each, and I'll go with pepperoni, cheese, and veggie. And for you, miss? Uh, let me get a Mo special. Uh, let me get a pepper uh, margarita. Uh, let me get a veggie. Any, any drinks for you folks? Uh, that should cover us. Just the pizza. We're eating three slices of pizza with no bed? That's how I know Mike's a weirdo, bro. I don't trust Mike. No bed? 
the hell? All right, then six hot slices coming up. That'll be twenty-two fifty. All right, Mike, you got it. Oh, Mike, you're a bum. Oh, snap. I left my wallet in the car. Do you have cash, Harper? Go fuck yourself. You did this on purpose. All right, I'll pay. Your order number is 27. Just grab a seat and we'll call you up when your pizza is ready. Huh. How you doing, my friend? Hey, you. Do you have a car? Not bad. Do you have insurance? Do you have a dog? I know I'm going to shower soon. <laughs> well, you're in luck. Uh, I'm as good as a man can be, my friend. Uh, gonna grab a slice? No, just looking for a little help. Good luck. I'm not helping. Nah, I'm bro said a little help. But what if he saves me later? You know what? Let, let me just talk to him. Because you never know. Sometimes you gotta make connections. Uh, maybe you can, but go on and get some pizza first, eh? Maybe we'll catch up later. Okay, that's weird. He kind of looks like Nick Cage. A little bit, not really. Huh. Uh, long sniff. Are you good? What are you sniffing? What? What? What is? What is bro sniffing? It smells so good in here. Right, it's awkward as hell, bro. Can I get up? I don't want. I don't want to sit with him anymore. Oh, it's Nora. She's gonna get stuck in the snow. Nah, I think I think we should cancel the trip. Cause she's definitely gonna get stuck in the snow. And if she's stuck in the snow, I gotta be with Mike alone. Ew. Did you listen to Nora's voice message in the group chat, bro? You heard me. You saw me open it. Looks like she'll be late. That's a bummer. I guess we'll have to start the fun without her. What is he mean? I don't like you. What do you mean by that? What can we do? Don't act like you don't know what I'm talking. Hey, bro, I dare you to do anything funny, Mike. These hands are lethal, bro. You can get a two-piece to your chin if you start acting up. What? He didn't, he didn't explain himself. Nah, I don't trust Mike. Order number 27, you folks are right here. Go get the pizza. I gotta get the pizza. This Mike guy sucks. Oh, he got up too. Okay. Get my pizza, bro. Get out of my way. Uh, all right, you folks are all set. Thank you. Okay, so that's the margarita. That's the veggie, and I guess that's the most special. Oh, eating sounds are gross. Oh damn, this pizza slaps. I didn't ask for your opinion, Mike. I really didn't. You've been creeping me out this whole time. Can't believe Nora's missing out on this bomb ass pizza. <laughs> Mike, stop talking to me. I don't like the way it's in my ears like that. Damn, Harv, you actually eat the crust? What are you talking about? Of course I eat the crust. It's kind of wasteful not to, don't you think? Right? Who, who, who? Bro, you're a grown-ass man. We're both adults. How are you not eating the pizza crust? I guess, but wouldn't you really... You wouldn't really eat the peel of an orange, would you? What? What? What does that even? What does that even mean? Is he equating pizza crust to orange peels? This Mike guy weird as hell. This Mike guy is weird as hell. In what world do you compare pizza crust to an orange peel? Nah, I don't trust him. He gotta be a serial killer. He gotta be a serial killer. 
Ain't no, he, he has to be like a lizard in a human costume. I don't trust this guy. <laughs> He's not even eating his pizza. Hey there, my friends. Hello. I saw y'all pull in driving that nice old truck. Are you just watching who pulls in and out, taking notes? Not at all, my friend. I just noticed you seem to be heading the same direction as I was. Um, okay, I'm calling it now. He's gonna ask to give him a ride. I'm gonna say no. Mike's gonna be like, sure! And then this guy's gonna freaking take our butt cheeks because of it. Because of Mike's stupidity, this guy is gonna take our butt cheeks. Y'all mind if I hit your eye with you? Hell no. Where's your car? Who needs a car when there are fine friends like you to pass the time? No. Y'all wouldn't even know I was there. Quiet as a church mouse and twice as nice. So, uh, what do y'all say? Care to give this free spirit a ride down the snowy road? No! You kidding me? Have you seen the snow out there? You want, you want me walking down the road in this freezing weather? Hey man, I'm sorry. I don't know you. You ain't too kind, are you? Hey man, it's a cold world. And now he's gonna follow us and kill us. Because I said no. Well, that was weird. I'm, you know what, Mike? I'm proud of you. I'm so proud of you, Mike. Cause I really thought you were gonna hoe us and tell that man, yeah, you can, you can come with us, sure. But you stayed quiet, and that was the best thing you could have done. He didn't even order anything. I feel bad for the guy. I mean, a little bit. After all these years, you're still that same old heart. Okay, now I regret saying that. Huh? Uh, burp. Uh. The pizza was perfect fuel for the last leg of the journey. Now, let me get up, bro. Uh, holy, that was good. All right, then, are you ready to hit the road? Maybe we can beat the worst of the snow. Give me the keys. Harp, the weather is awful. Why don't you drive your part of the way home? I'm going to drive so you can take a break. Yeah, give me the keys, bro. I'm afraid of what kind of break you're going to give me, uh, Harp. You'll be afraid if you don't give me the keys. Bro, give me the fucking keys, bro. Fine, but there's one condition. I'm about to, I'm about to uppercut you in your jaw. Hey, you trying to kiss me? Hey, help me, help me, help me. What the hell? Get away from me. Get away from me. I don't consent to this. I don't consent, help me. I get first choice of bedrooms. When or if we get there, whatever, bro. Give me the keys. This guy just freaking kissed me in the mouth, bro. Ugh. All that pizza and stuff, he didn't. Ugh. Disgusting. It's his fault. Because this weirdo, I don't even know what he's doing with his hands. He pushed Mike into me. Huh. Do I get to drive or are we just teleporting there? Please let me drive. I'm about to crash the whip. Please let me drive. I don't. I don't think they're letting me drive. Oh shit! They are. This is your host on yeah. Your you fucked up. You put your life in my hands, and now it's over. As we embrace the first snowfall of the season. So here's a track that'll make you. It's over, Mike. Harp, are you okay? Do you want me to take over? Nah, I got it. Don't worry. Huh. Nah, the car's actually fucked up. It's harder to drive after crashing it. So, Mike, how, how do you... Ah! <laughs> Did you get your license from a cereal box? I'm doing this on purpose because you kept messing with me. You kissed me without my permission, so now I'm fucking your car up. Bro, you got a problem? You got a problem? You got a problem? Come kill, come kill, come kill Mike about it. I think. I think the address was twenty uh, two four one Worsbury Boulevard. Bro, if you got, come out the car. Come out the car. Come out the car right now. Come out the car right now. Huh? Here we are. My legs fell asleep. Uh, one second. Bro, get out the car, bro. I don't care if your legs are asleep. Where's my luggage? It was a quaint little house in a quiet neighborhood. Do you you only brought a cooler? Where's your luggage? Bro, 
Bruh, this mic guy is so weird. Yeah, he ain't got no suitcase, no clothes, or nothing. He just brought a freaking cooler. Unless you put your clothes inside there, in which case, that's just weird as hell. Oh, crap. I don't remember the code. 5176. Okay. Oh. Uh, five, one, fuck, seven, six, bada boom. You go in first because I don't trust you. Ah, stupid. Did you lock me out, you freaking piece of shit? What a great place. I knew we could count on you. It smells so nice in here, right? But I really need to hit the John. Hey, take your time, buddy. While I'm gone, can you put these groceries away? Should be enough space in the fridge. Also, it's groceries. He bought groceries, but he didn't bring clothes, a toothbrush, fresh underwear. None, none of that. None of that crossed your mind. Just, just the groceries. I got it. And then he he, he just slams the door on me. The house was cozy and well furnished. I mean, I, I don't even know if it's well furnished because I got locked out. Huh. But anyway, let me let me let me go stock the fridge, and then I guess we'll uh we'll either sync up with Mike or we'll go upstairs. Okay, that's freaking him finishing up. Hey yeah. Woo! Sorry about that harp. I don't really care what's going on there. Long drive and all that pizza really did a number on me. I promise you, I don't care. Uh, hang on, I need to pee. You can go ahead. I'll start unpacking our bags. I don't want him to touch my bag either. Frick. Huh. No! Leave my... I'm following him, bro. I don't trust you, bro. No! He's stealing all my stuff. It's over. It's over. Huh. We're gonna go to the room? He's gonna be, like, sniffing my so my my socks or something. The alone... Uh, the smell alone... Okay, I, I guess he took a crazy dookie in here. Yeah, piss mechanics two times is crazy. Huh. Uh, you feeling better after the drive? Uh, I'm good. Want to check out the house? Sounds good to me. Let's see what this place has to offer. After you. I'm checking upstairs first just to make sure you don't mess with my stuff. Okay, little linen closet. Planks of wood, which we also might need a flashlight. But ching We're good at the way. Terrifying. Mo oh my. Why why won't you move? No way am I soft like you, bro. If you don't move. Come on. Come on. This guy is a freaking bozo. No, no way. Can you please move? Why is he doing this to me, bro? Why is he do it? Get out the way. Get out of the way, bro. I hate this guy. This guy might fucking sucks, bro. There we go. That's what we call engineering. Oh! Who the fuck are you? Weren't you upstairs? Why didn't you see this crazy man in here? Oh, hey, you're here. Who the fuck are you? Welcome to my home sweet home. What a lovely young couple. We're not a couple. He didn't answer. Oh my God, bro, there's too many things to worry about. This guy's a sociopath. That other guy is freaking... <laughs> there's too many things happening right now, bro. Why didn't he say, no, we're not? You didn't have to sell it that hard, Harp. I was answering this question. Go fuck yourself. He didn't ask a question, Sydney. He made a statement, and you were not dating, you bozo. Oopsie daisy. Silly me. Didn't mean to cause a stir with you two. We didn't expect anyone to be here. Oh, um, I was out looking for my cat earlier, and I remember the TV has been on the fritz here. You know what's crazy? I I'm not counting on Mike, because Mike's a dumbass. 
but Harper, Sydney Harper here, she she's not. Why is she not identifying this man? Why is she not saying who are you? You know, produce some kind of ID or something because I don't know if this is Rick or not. This is some random guy. Just thought I'd stop by and try to get it working again since the last few folks left a bad word for it. You know, they say treat your guests like family. My family doesn't go without TV. I don't know if you're Rick or not. I don't trust you. And you're still pissed because I said I'm not your girl, bro. Get over it. Get out of your feelings. Speaking of that. Now that you folks are here, let me show you around the house. Right now? I'd be a bad owner if I didn't give the uh, grand tour to you. Bro, give my flashlight. I was a middle-aged man with a... Host was a middle-aged man with a nervous energy. Are you coming, miss? Right from the start, his presence made us uncomfortable. Huh. Here's your shower. That thing will make you feel like you're bathing under a waterfall in the Amazon jungle. Okay. Oh, this sink doesn't work, unfortunately. Not to worry. I'll get it fixed for you real soon. Let me show you the other bedroom now. Okay. Huh. Look, Harp, this room has a nice-ass view. You think that's nice, mister? Wait till I show you the deck. Follow me now, please. Great question. Where is my suitcase, bro? This guy probably shoved it up his ass, bro. Probably ate my freaking clothes and stuff because he didn't bring any of his. <laughs> Holy smokes, this is incredible. Incredibly cold. Glad you folks like it. <laughs> I just said, I don't know, bro. I'm just pissed off at these people, bro. I'm, I'm just saying whatever at this point. Uh, this is one of my favorite spots. The view of the creek is beautiful. It's a great spot for fishing, too. All right, folks, let's head back in before I catch the cold here again. But where's the creek? I don't see no creek here. Why is he, why is he lying? You, you can't fish from here. Huh. Here's the storage room. If you need anything, uh, tools, extra blankets, whatnot, it's all in here. If the power ever goes out, you can use this flashlight near uh, here on my right. Storms like these, you never know. Thanks. All right, folks, let's head downstairs for now. I already got the flashlight, buddy. I'm keeping it on me. I don't trust neither, yo. Huh. All righty, folks, I see you already stocked up the fridge with some tasty food. You see the knob? Turn the knob for more cooling and down to cool it off. I tend to keep it low in the winter. The bill gets out of control. Speaking of winter, I better show you folks the water heater. Joke's on him, bro. I already know about the water heater. Huh. Um, Nothing to worry about down here. Just the water heater and some old storage stuff. If it ever stops working, just hit the button at the bottom. The pilot light will fire right up and you'll be back in business. So the water can turn cold out of nowhere and we gotta hit the water here. Insane. Hey, sir, what's the deal with that room over there? Uh, nothing you two need to concern yourselves with. I kind of use this basement as storage. Renders don't need the space. They don't. Uh, they really ought to keep upstairs. Okay. Well, I was just curious. Oh, uh, let's move on. Huh. Did I mention? Well, no, maybe I had to keep it to myself. What do you mean, bro? The fellow I bought this house from, well, told me his mother died down here. Yeah, we're cooked, bro. We're done for. Some guests have reported hearing voices at night. Said they could hear something shuffling around down here. Not to scare you folks, but if I were the uh, one of you, I wouldn't really step down here. You heard that, Mike? Don't come down here, Mike. Hee 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 hee. The looks on your faces. Hee 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 hee. Come on now, I'm just joking. I know for a fact there's someone locked behind this freaking uh, door. Are you coming, miss? Yeah, whatever. You're a freaking murderer, bruh. Alrighty, folks, no starting to pick up. I'm gonna hit the road now. Gotta find that damn cat. Uh, thanks for showing us around. Bro, where's Nora? By the way, what was the name on the book in? I must be getting notes. See, that's how I know this guy is not Rick. 
this guy is not just some random ass dude. That's why he's asking us what's the name on the booking because now you now he knows our name, bro. We're done for. Ha, ah, Sydney. That's right. A pretty name for a pretty girl. Yeah, you're weird. Mike, I need you to die for me. Is it just me or was that dude super weird? Very weird. Anyway, let's go see if there's anything good on TV. Actually, I'm gonna take a quick shower. We're done for. Oh my god, bro, we're done for. I'm gonna take a shower. The water's gonna get cold. This guy's gonna try to peep on me. Freaking Rick's gonna crawl through the window and do God knows what. Cool, I'll find something to watch while you're in there. Chuckle, let me know if it feels like you're under a waterfall. All right, bro. What a weird guy. Yeah. Like, 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 we didn't get no response from this. This is insane. Huh. I don't want to use this crazy ass shower upstairs by myself. Can't even lock the door. Why oh, was that so loud? Oh my god. All right, get, get ready for the get ready for the shower jump scare. Oh, god damn, that's loud as hell. I don't like how all the doors are open, bro. My mom gave me a nine out of ten. I'm cheesing. Let's go. What the fuck are you, Mike? Mike, you're pissing me off, bro. What are you doing with the fishing rod? Where'd you even get a fishing rod? Hey, Harp, check this out. I found this fishing rod in that shed. Planning to catch dinner? Now that you've mentioned, that would be a pretty epic addition to the trip. I don't know, it's cold out there. Come on, Harp, what would make this trip more epic than catching our own freaking dinner? This is such a horrible, like, he's gonna, he's gonna fall over the railing, break his neck, and then we're gonna have to call Rick, and Rick's gonna be like, let me take him to the basement and, and you know, fix him up. Next thing we know, freaking Mike's eyeball is getting plucked out of his head. Hell yeah, follow me. There's another rod in the shed so we can both give it a shot. This is a horrible idea. I just came out the shower too. I'm gonna get pneumonia. Huh. Uh, do you wanna grab the other fishing rod, Harp? Yeah, just give me a second. Bro, where is it? Oh, it's right here. Yo, I can do a wield. Oh snap, I saw a killer recipe for baked carp. We'll need to catch three carp though. You up for the challenge? Sure. This would have been done in 15 minutes. <laughs> well, first things first, we need the right bait for carp. Uh, check out this bait information board. Whenever, uh, you, whenever you're ready, grab a carp bait and let's head to the creek. We're gonna go catch some carp, harp. Please don't make rhymes with my name. <laughs> huh. I'm about to catch hella carp. This guy, Mike, still hasn't caught anything, bro. He, ooh, a blue gill. That's a great fish, Harp. We're on a carp catching mission today. Toss that one back in, bro. Oh, don't tell me what the to toss back. Why don't you catch something? What's trying to tell me how to fish? Oh, just one more carp left. You got this. This guy's not doing anything. Light work, light work, light work, light work. Ooh, he tried to run away. Yeah. All right, Harp, looks like we got three carp. You mean I got three carp. You want to head back and throw these in the oven for dinner? Sure. I like how we both just threw the fishing rod and shit. Huh. Uh, while I'm cleaning the fish, do you mind prepping the marinade? I'm not sure how to do it. Just take a bowl and throw in ginger paste, cooking oil, black pepper, salt, Italian seasoning, paprika, and yogurt. Okay. 
Bro said a whole bunch of stuff that I did not remember. Do you mind throwing the fish and the marinade and the casserole while I chop the veggies? Sure. Where's the fish? Oh. One fish. Two fish. Oh. Now, could you add the veggies? All right. All right, red and needs to go for 30 minutes at 400, all right. Loud as hell. Those carp are gonna taste amazing. For you all, it's not the same as regular yogurt, what the hell? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. That's how I tried to put it back, but he was like, nah. Put the froyo in. This this guy is a weirdo. Uh, while we wait for it to cook, how about we play some board games? I saw some in the room next to the living room. Oh my God! This is where he's, he's gonna he's gonna ask for the Ouija board. He's gonna ask for the Ouija board. Just grab whatever catches your eye. Can't wait to see what you pick. I saw some in the room next to the living room. Okay. If I'm picking, please don't don't force us to pick the Ouija the Ouija board. I don't want to play with demons. Huh. Let's play, let's play some Jenga. Come on, Mike. A good old game of Jenga, right? A tower stacker, nice choice, Harp. It's been ages since I played this. Totally, it's been a long time for me too. Okay, let's see how steady those hands are. I don't like the way you said that, but okay. Oh, I guess we did have to put on the table. Uh, whenever you're ready, Harp. All right, bro, I'm about to smoke him. What? I didn't even touch the edge. Nah, run it back, run it back. That's crazy. Well done, Harp. Amazing crash landing. Thank you. Let's give it another try. That was insane. Come on, bro. That was bullshit. Oh my god. Phew! I've seen skyscrapers with less stability than your tower block. All those years of Osu. I, I played Osu like one time in my life. What the? How come he doesn't have to do the stupid mini game? That one was close. So I guess I guess the easier the pieces, the easier the shape is. Although I swear it throws on purpose because I'm trying to go slowly and like in the straight line, but the thing like try it, it it literally tries its best to move to the sides. Oh, I connected it now. This game is actually throwing. It's like they want you to fail. Your tower block game is seriously on point. You know, they call me the Tower Whisperer. That's a horrible nickname. Um, I guess I'll go for this one. Oh, no. Now nah, they're trying to maybe throw on purpose, but they're doing... They're literally moving the mouse. Oh my God. You're making this game look effortless, bro. Drop the block already, please, bro. Yeah, the scraping noise is crazy too. Time to channel my inner architect, this is bullshit. Um. This one, no. This one should be, yeah, okay, this one should be solid. Oh my god. Please. 
Please drop, bruh. That move was as smooth as butter. I don't care. I thought you weren't allowed to take from the first three rows. Oh, never mind. He took from somewhere else. That was just my freaking, my thing. Oh, it's his turn again? I see the tower shaking already. How come he, how come he did two turns? Oh, yeah, we're cooked. We're cooked. We're cooked. Bro, it's like the, it's like the Squid Games, bro. This, this is like, oh my god. Oh my god, you're a pro harp. Fold, please make him fold, bruh. Let's go! That's what I like to see. That's what I like to see. Oh man, I almost had it. Wanna go again? Hell no. Let's leave it at that, bro. Let's get the fuck up, bro. Where's my flashlight? That was a fun game, harp. You did really well. Thanks, Mike. Alright, the carp should be just about done. Let's grab some plates. I'm starving. Huh. I think our show is about to come on. Wanna watch while we eat? Sure. But where's my plate? Oh. Yummy yummy. Asparagus chocolate cake. Yum yum. Full of mayonnaise. This delicacy That's real easy. Very popular in Romania. Where mayonnaise flows down the rivers like what the? a mayonnaise water park. What the? So first, we are going to prepare. <laughs> there go Berlin in the game. <laughs> Season these with a lot of salt. Salt is good. Why they do them like that? After letting these simmer in the salt bath, we can start making the catch. Oh, Momo, you're going to do me dirty. Tocos. Stir fried mayonnaise is crazy. Tofu. I'm not gonna lie. This is gonna taste like shit. <laughs> but here you are, anyway, listening to my cooking. I am listening, Berlin. This is the brain of the mayonnaise. I was done with it, bro. We, we got to inject it with a little anesthesia to make anesthesia? sure it revolt against us. Eating fish, cat eats fish, bruh. Harp, that was some damn good, uh, some that. damn fine food. Twice as good since we caught the fish ourselves. <laughs> it was, it was I. You don't have to rain on my parade, Harp. It was, uh, no, it was no most pizza, but I thought it turned out well. But shut up, Mike. Anyways, I need to check my emails real quick. Left my laptop upstairs. I thought we were taking a break from work. It's not work, I'm just waiting on shipment details for my new DS. Whoa. I'll be right back. Uh, okay, I'll do the dishes until then. Mike is not cool. I don't, I don't trust Mike. Michael J. Carter? I think there's someone under my bed right now. Look at this guy goofing around. Look at this guy goofing around. So help me, I'm saying this right now. So help me, God. If I come upstairs, and this man's playing a prank on me. I'm punching him. I'm punching him in his Adam's apple. Since the Berlin show, bro, he's talking about freaking pan frying mayonnaise, bro. I know someone who will. Release the enemy. No, no, no! It's not. It's not poison. It's not poison. Look. Ugh. Bye, Grandma. Stay in your room. I don't want you wandering around the house again. Oh! Get back in there! Oh! 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 Okay, I'm glad she ate that up. I wouldn't want any food to go to waste. Berlizzi, what are you doing to your grandma? I guess we can still enjoy our gasoline ramen, which is ready to serve. Gasoline ramen? I'll enjoy eating this as much as I will. Let's eat! Lock him up, lock him up, lock him up, lock him up. Bro, bro forces grandma to eat mayonnaise, ga mayonnaise, mayonnaise, gasoline, ramen. And now we gotta deal with Mike's stupid ass, bro. Huh. 
He probably in the freaking closet or something. Yeah, you're not scaring me. You're not scaring me. You're not scaring me with your stupid ass, bro. Look at you, freaking giant ass bottom lip. You look like freaking Oscar from freaking, freaking, freaking fish tails, buddy, bro. Freaking piece of shit, bro. I, I told you I was gonna punch you in your throat. You're so lucky. There's no punch mechanics in this game, bro. Gotcha. What a, what a piece of shit, bro. What an actual asshole, bro. This is why this is why Harper doesn't want to be with you. Cause you stink, you're weird, and you do dumb shit like this. Ah, uh, you're lucky I don't break your nose. My good looks are half my charm, Harp. Don't mess them up. You're ugly. I totally got you. That was fun, wasn't it? It's not cool. No, you're not cool. You're not funny. I hope the murderer takes your butt cheeks. You want to go for a next run? Next run? What are you talking about? How about we... How about a game of hide and seek? This guy is insane. All right, you're on. I'll come to 10. Wait, it's my time to hide? All right, say less, bro. He ain't never going to find me. I decide to hide in the basement. Yeah, we're cooked. We're actually going to die. Why would you hide in the basement? It's like you want to get murdered. But I know where I'm hiding, though. Uh, he found me. Oh my god. How did he know? How did he know? Aha, got you. Uh, that wasn't even a challenge. I figured you would be good at this since I never find you in the city. Maybe you need to look harder. Ooh. All right, my turn to hide now. You better close your eyes and start counting. I'm cheating expeditiously. Huh. No. Oh, they're not going to be cheat. This is bullshit. I'm about to get freaking beat up, bro. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. Huh. Bro, why are we playing hide and seek at our big grown age, bro? What was the other option? I'm gonna be honest, I don't know. I was just spamming the button. So not in here. I'm probably in here. Easy, got you. Hang on, Harp. I think I heard something upstairs. Bro, we are upstairs. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice. No kidding, Sydney. I really heard something uh, sliding up there. You didn't hear it? I did not. I swear on my life, I heard something. I see this attic axis. Hell no. What do you mean? This guy? It's like he has no survival skills. You see an attic door and your first instinct is, hey, let's get in the attic. I'm Christopher Watkins. <laughs> You're sick and you need help, brother. Uh, I don't see, I don't see, uh, I see this attic access door in here. In where? Is he, I don't trust him. I feel like he's trying to trap me in here, bro. Like, what do you, what do you mean you see the attic access, bro? What are you talking about? I don't, I don't, I don't trust, bro. I really, I really don't trust, bro, bro. Like, I feel like I'm gonna walk in there, he's gonna lock me in, and then it's over, then I'm cooked, you know? Are you gonna check it out? Why do I have to check it out? Yeah, you're taller than you go. I think uh, my shoulders are too broad to fit through there, Sydney. But one of us really should look. Why are you hiding these broad, sh yeah, where are you hiding these shoulders, bro? Seriously, Sydney, I don't think I would fit through. This is such bullshit, bro. What do you mean I don't think I would fit through, you freaking piece of shit? This is a bunch of baloney, bro. Use that step stool behind you and climb up. I don't, I don't even see a step stool, bro. The fact that it closed automatically is crazy. Where's, I don't see the step stool. Oh. What step stool are they talking about? Are you talking about this? Because I, I can't, I can't. I can't reach it. What is, oh, this step stool, bruh. It was outside of the thing. Freaking dumbass. 
All right, what's up here? Whoa. I don't, okay, so to get back down there, look at him just staring at me. I think it's crazy that he stands under there. But he could definitely, he, he definitely could have fit through here, that piece of shit. Oh my God, it's the cat. Oh, that scared me, bro. Oh, good cat. You're chill, bro. You're a good cat, right? It, it feels like somebody's living up here, though. I bet bro is living up here, bro. Oh my god, that scared the the dookie out of me, bro. That was terrifying. I guess let's keep going. <laughs> it was just a, what the hell? Freaky ass painting. It's all good. It was just a cat. Uh, Sydney, are you okay? What was up there? Uh, looks like you aren't the only pussy in the house. <laughs> What do you mean by that? It was just a cat. Oh, that's a relief. I was worried there for a second. Uh, I think she was hungry. Oh, yeah? Maybe we can give her one of the carp uh, after I come find you again. I don't want to play hide and seek anymore. I decided to hide in the tool shed in the backyard. Bro, what is with these crazy ass hiding places? Huh. Oh, my God. This is a horrible idea. Bro was not looking for me. Oh, there he is. Where is he going? I guess he's checking around the house and whatnot. Hi, come over here. Brady he definitely sees me crouching through the window. <gasps> he found me. Aha, there you are. Damn, Harbor, it took me a while to figure out you left the house. Anything worth uh, doing is worth doing. My turn, close, the, close those pretty eyes of yours. Bro, I'm getting tired. Look, I'll hide in the house. We're headed back in anyway. You find me, and we'll go to bed. All right. Yeah, this is where somebody This is where somebody breaks into the house for sure, bro. He better not be in the basement, bro. He better not be in the flipping basement. Huh. Bro has to be in this room then, right? Who's in the washroom? Oh my god, why does she scream like that? What's going on? What happened? Well, hey there. Why the hell are you in here again? Okay, I want to say Rick, why are you back? And if he says, who's Rick? I know he's a fraud. I'm fixing the faucet. You got a problem with that? You should have told us. Hiss. This is my house. I don't need to check in with you every time I fix something. Yeah, but we're staying here as an Airbnb. You can't just come and go as you please. I've never seen anyone fix a faucet with a hammer before. You ever fixed many faucets yourself, young man? Didn't think so. So I'd imagine you don't know what tools you need. How long have you been here? Just got here a couple of minutes ago. If you heard anything before that, it must have been that old lady, remember? Hey, hey, hey. Do you think maybe you could fix it tomorrow? You asked me to leave, miss? Hell yes. No, Rick, she's being polite. We rented this house and would like to have it to ourselves. Uh, we don't really want to have to call law enforcement. Yeah, no, Mike's spinning, bro. Let him know. And if you got a problem, kill my homie Mike about it. Ain't no cops in Woodbury, son. 
Ooh. That's not good. You think they're gonna arrest the homeowner for fixing the faucet? I was just doing some work. If you can't handle that, it's your problem, not mine. You know what? If you folks don't like me fixing the faucet, I'll leave it to you. I'll leave you to it. Nah, you about to kill somebody with that hammer, bro. Look at Mike. Bro got scared after talking all that talk and hid behind the door. Huh. After locked the door, we debated what to do. We agreed that there was something off about Rick from the start. It seemed like he enjoyed making excuses to come over unannounced. In the end, we decided Rick was weird but probably harmless. We attributed his behavior to an extreme lack of social awareness. Uh, look, we already drove all the way down here. Let's just enjoy ourselves, Mike said. The mic is dumb and so We should have left. We should have left frame one, bruh. This was a horrible idea. Uh, by this, But by this time, I was feeling really tired. I decided to get some rest. Yeah, this worst, uh, worst thing you could do is fall asleep while some murderers run around with a hammer. Bro. Get up, bruh. Don't, don't be a murderer, please. Oh, it's Mike. Whoo! Harper, you still awake? Hard to sleep when someone's knocking on the door. You mind if I come in? I'll let you talk about something. Sure. What the fuck are you trying to talk about, you freak? Hello? Oh. Um, the storm is starting to get really bad. I can hardly see the truck in the driveway. I hope Nora's okay. She'll be just fine, Cindy. Don't worry. I'm here to keep you safe. What? Hey, it's no problem at all. Guys are supposed to watch over people they care about. What are you talking about? What a day, huh? This wasn't exactly how I thought our getaway was going to go, Sydney. It's been a strange day. Can you believe that guy? He just keeps wandering around the house like he owns the place. Ah, uh, he does own the place. You know exactly what I meant, Sydney. He shouldn't just barge in the place whenever he wants. We rented the damn house. Nah, I'm starting to think Mike might actually be the villain, bruh. What if Rick is here to save us and Mike is the tweaker, bruh? And we can't trust him, bruh. I don't know about Mike, bruh. I mean, the guy's probably harmless, but I'm frustrated. You've also been a little difficult to deal with. <laughs> You're right, Sydney. I'm really sorry. Uh, it'll help if we both get some sleep. Why is he sitting on my bed? Why don't, you, why don't you come sit by me? I don't want to. You're weird. Harp, you know... I've missed this. Us just talking? It's been too long. Nah, this guy's gross. You know... You don't have to sleep alone tonight if you don't want to, bro. This is why you got to keep some kind of weapon on you at all times, bro. Especially when you're out on a vacation, like in the camping, some cabin in the woods, bro. You can't trust anybody. Yeah, where's this come? Yeah, would you be doing this if Nora was here? Yeah, shut him down real quick, stupid. Get out of here. You act... The music got crazy. You act like you don't remember our trip to Oregon. I don't. I remember it being pretty awkward. It didn't start out awkward though. Mike, we had a lot to drink. Things happened. Oh no, they sure did. I'm hoping maybe they can happen again. SOS, please. I guess I've been meaning to talk to you about that. You just let me worry about the details, Sydney. Mike, I don't think this is a good time. I got you, bro. I need to get at Nah, nah, nah. I'll do it. What a tough timing, huh? But I guess we can't leave Nora stranded. Uh, we can't. We better get ready. No, sin. You stay here and get some sleep. There's no signs of both of us freezing our asses off. Hell no. 
Yeah, I'm sure you're in pajamas and I'm still dressed. You just settle in and I'll go help Nora. No, Sydney, no. You're all alone. Now we're all alone in the house. We're cooked. That's really nice, Mike. I always like doing nice things for you, Sydney. Yeah, you're a creep, bro. Get, get out of here. We'll finish talking about this later, okay? I don't want to talk about nothing. Unless I'm not supposed to be in the bed. Hey, why don't you even rest while I'm gone? Are you sure it's safe to drive in this weather? I think I'll crash for a bit. Don't worry, I'm dri I've driven worse. Besides, Nora's probably freaking out more than you right now. You're probably right. Make sure you take care of yourself, all right? Lock all the doors. You sound like my dad. Can you blame me? Before I go, how about a hug? I mean, just in case you're asleep when I get back. Not now, Mike. Bro, Mike is so freaking weird. It was freezing cold outside. Okay, how do I lock the door? I was keen on getting some sleep until Mike and Nora arrived. So, so there's no actual way to lock the door, huh? This is insane. Huh. I told myself things would get better if I just got some rest. Nora always knew how to cheer me up, but I needed it, I needed it more by the minute. With her arriving soon, I decided to rest in the meantime. 12.39 a.m. Someone's at the doorbell. Who could it be? The religion, oh my God. It's the guy. The religion that someone outside was terrifying. Was I supposed to alert him? I saw you there, my friend. Please open the door. I'm freezing to death out here. Um, was he supposed to see me? Okay. He's banging on the door. Should I open it or no? What do y'all think? I mean, realistically, what happened if I open it, bro? Am I pussy? Do you have any idea what time it is? Look, friend, I know it ain't ideal banging on your door in the middle of the night, but I'm in a bad spot right here. Like, I know, obviously, in real, in real life, I wouldn't even be in the situation. In real life, bro, I would have the tool in my hand right now. And as soon as I opened the door, it would have been in his face. Remember playing as a woman? I know. Where's her tool, bro? Where's her piece? Oh, my God. But I'm in a bad spot here. I was counting on a ride from some friends, but they're running behind and won't be here for about two more hours. You're not coming in. End of story. Are you fucking kidding me? You're gonna let me freeze to death out here? I didn't make you go hiking in a snowstorm. I should have known you'd be as big as a bitch as you were back at the pizza joint. What? You think I didn't see you and your little boyfriend fishing in the creek earlier? I figured maybe you'd give me a chance this time, but still looks like uh, looks like you're still, whoa, unkind. Get out of here, I'll call the cops. Ain't no cops around here. Okay, you think, I'm, you think I'm pussy? <laughs> Speaking of, I don't see your fella's truck out here either. I'm dialing 911 right now, bro. I would've, man, fine. Suit yourself. Bro, shut up talking to me. And he's still there. Nah, nah, you're gonna freeze to death outside, stupid idiot, bro. I'm gonna piss on your dead body when they find you. Frozen to death like the idiot you are. Freaking bozo talking to me. Talking crazy to me? But let me tell you something. Ooh. You'll get what's coming to you for leaving me out here. Pull up the one piece. I'm not talking about anime. I'm getting this. Parma's a bitch, my friend. Fuck you. If you got a problem, kill my homie Mike about it. That's crazy. The man at the door seemed uh, irrelevant compared to how tired I was. Yeah, you're dumb as hell. Because now he's like over here, bro. 
I couldn't keep my eyes open. I had to get some sleep. Yeah, she's dumb as hell. She is so dumb. It's like she wants to die. Uh, I guess we're going to sleep. Okay, go to sleep then, dumbass. What? What the hell? I don't have a phone or nothing. Text Rick? Okay. I'm, I'm guessing we gotta go downstairs, right? Like that, that's probably, it, it's dumb. It's dumb as hell, but that's probably what we gotta do. Oh my God, this is so dumb, bro. This is terrifying. Like this, this is the last thing we should be doing, bro. The last thing we should be doing is freaking going downstairs. Like this is insane. Oh, we're gonna die, we're gonna die. And I don't have my flashlight, my flashlight. Oh, it's Rick. Despite how strange Rick had been seeing him was a relief. This is the worst thing to do, bro. Hello, Ricky. What the hell is going on here? Uh, oh, thank God you're here. Rick, I'm so glad you came. Did you see anyone outside? I might have seen some. Could have been anyone or no one at all. Okay, yeah, this guy. They're probably working together, this Rick guy and the, the freaking hitchhiker. Explain the situation. This is the dumbest thing. Are we going to tell him we're home alone? He's going to harvest our organs. Yeah, I came as quickly as I could. This is not Rick, bro. This is not Rick. This is not Rick. This I don't believe this is Rick. I wouldn't worry about him anymore. Did Rick kill him? Nah, Rick smoked that guy with a hammer, bro. By the way, Oh, it's over. He's gonna kill us. He's gonna kill us, bro. You saw the way he stepped up. He's like, where your little friend at? <laughs> uh, by the way, where's your friend? The guy who was with you earlier. Uh, Mike, he went to pick... Uh, he should be back soon. So you're all alone here right now. Crazy. He's gonna beat us to death with that hammer. Rick, where are you going, Rick? What are you doing, Rick? I don't like this, Rick. Storms like this bring out all kinds of folks. Yeah, we're checked. This guy's gonna bash our brains in with this hammer. It's actually, it's so over, bro. He's gonna, he's gonna, Rick, gonna, he, yeah, he's warming up his hands before he kills us, bro. I don't think this is Rick. Storms like this bring up all kinds of folk. Not all of them know when to stay away. Come back over? What do you mean? I live in Burlington. I haven't been to the rental in weeks. Yeah, we're cooked. We're cooked. We're cooked. Hey, hey, yo, chill. Rick, 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 calm down. Rick, 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 yo, chill. Yeah, everything's chill, everything's chill. Off a live for texting, isn't it? Who are you talking to? Uh, it's my friends, they're almost here. Is that so? Yeah, thanks for coming by, though. Uh, I'll be fine now. You, you, you can head back if you want. You sure about that? Yeah, I just overreacted. Maybe I should stick around, make sure everything's okay. You need to leave right now. You're not Rick, are you? Who are you? You need to leave. What'd you just say? I said leave, bitch ass nigga. What's up? What's up? Nah, nah, cause now, now I'm in, now I'm in your face. 
this is my fucking house. I will leave when I want to. Bro, at this point, look, right here at this point, this is when he would have caught a smooth punch to the throat. As he bends down to grab his throat, a knee right to the nose. As he's flying back, I'm grabbing the hammer and he's done for. No sure we're gonna hear a lady, bro. A lady can punch a guy in the throat, bro. It doesn't matter who's punching you in the throat. A punch in the throat is a punch in the throat. Uh, you need to leave. You need to leave. <laughs> I got out of here. I call the cops, bro. You need to leave right now. I don't think so. If anyone's leaving this house, is it me? It will be one of us. Ooh. Oh shit! Yo, chill. Oh, he locked the door. What do I do? I'm gonna go outside. Ah, oh, help, 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 help! Somebody help me! It's over. He got me. Damn, that guy's fat. That old man was fast as hell. Just hide? Where was I supposed to hide? I was too cute. I mean, I, I guess I knew he was breaking the door down, but I didn't think he was going to freaking um run up on me, bro. He did like an instant dash towards me. It's me or you. And then this is when I run to the basement because bro is tripping. thinking look i know i know this stool was to the right right but i was thinking if i go out there the door is still open he would have saw me i thought i had to wait until he opened the door down there and if i heard someone talk to him i would have gone down there oh my friends hold me but they, they didn't know so it's not their fault this is crazy bro am i really supposed to go to the attic <laughs> I sold, I sold, I sold, I sold, I sold, I sold, I sold.
I, I guess it's fine to talk now because there's no like meter. Um, I think you have to look at the attic door. I don't want to do that. I'm talking to the other guests on the phone and call 911. Thank God. I'm gonna go down here and get my head bashed in. Oh God. Hello, Mike. Phew. I told them everything that happened after Mike had left. Rick had called the cops. The storm had quieted down by the time they arrived. Mike is scum. He is a weirdo, bro. He was trying to get all freaky with me. Was your ex not a weirdo? I don't even think he was my ex. I think we just had a one-time thing on a different vacation. But obviously, Sidney Harper wasn't feeling him. And of course, the man was nowhere to be seen. On our drive back, the whole night played over and over in my head. We think that the man we saw secretly lived in that cabin when it wasn't being used and plan on robbing us during our stay. But cops seemed to think there was more intent behind this man's action aside from just robbing us. Rick asked me what the man looked like and after that he didn't ask any more questions. We think he knew more than he was letting on. But in the end he gave us a full refund. What was behind that door, bruh? Dang. We did it! We beat it! Yay! Yippee! Yippee! I knew Lily Pichu was of the Norvie. Instead of $99 trauma, it's free, right? <laughs> Insane. Yeah, because we never got to know what was behind the door, right? Also, what happened to that other guy? Like, did he get freaking killed or something? But yeah, another another W Fierce to Fathom game, bro. Shout out to Rail Studios, bro. The Walker. <laughs> the fake house owner, Rick. GG. Yeah, W Airbnb or uh, horror. Thank you for playing Fierce to Fathom. Thank you. For making these banger games, bro. We got some good jump scares. We got some good scares, man. It was kind of terrifying. <laughs> not bad, not bad. 